This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. A tragic end to a vacation experience here in the Bahamas for one family after a 51-year-old South Korean male allegedly drowned on Bimini on Wednesday afternoon. Police reports indicate that the male was found shortly after 1 p.m. as officers received information that a male passenger of a cruise ship was found unresponsive on Lighthouse Beach, Ocean Key, after being retrieved from waters by bystanders. Subsequently, the victim was transported back to the ship in a private vehicle where he was seen and examined by the ship's doctor who found no vital signs of life. Police investigations continue into this matter. The Department of Labor, in conjunction with the Freetown Urban Renewal Program and the Pilgrim Baptist Temple, will hold a job fair this Saturday, April 1st, on the grounds of Pilgrim Baptist Temple on St. James Road beginning at 9 a.m. Although being held in the Freetown community, the job fair is also expected to attract citizens from surrounding communities as well. Minister of Labor and Immigration Keith Bell speaks more on this initiative. Over the past 10 months, the Ministry of Labor and Immigration in conjunction with a number of community-based organizations and our partners from the private sector has held 11 job fairs in three family islands with over 3,000 Bahamians gaining gainful occupation. On Saturday, the April 1st, 2023, the Department of Labor, in conjunction with the Freetown Urban Renewal Program, the Pilgrim Baptist Church, and the Member of Parliament for Freetown, will hold a job fair on the grounds of Pilgrim Baptist Temple located at James, St. James Road beginning at 9 a.m. and ended at 3. This job fair, although being held in the Freetown community, is also expected to attract citizens from other surrounding communities and will bring scores of employers that are seeking to hire job seekers to fill vacant positions in their respective businesses. This is another example of the Davis administration's commitment to utilize all of the tools available to bring job relief. Members of Parliament for Freetown and Minister of National Security, Wayne Monroe, expressing his gratitude for all who are playing a part in ensuring that the people who are living in his constituency will have a fair chance at gaining employment. There can be no excuses. They will help you with your resume. They will even help you getting properly dressed. There are a range of companies that are here from Kelly's, John Bull, McDonald's, Family Guardian, Fusion, Atios, Foresight Security, ICS Security, Wimco Security, Ron's Electric, Pinder's Custom and Island Specialty, FYP Builders Mall, Sandals, who the minister says have had 100 vacancies now for more than a year seeking to fill, IHOP, who is to open, SMG, the government agencies, National Training Agency, BTVI, Bahamas Immigration, thank you, yes, <laughs> Minister so. Bell, we'll the police, the prison, the defense force, and the Sunshine Group of companies. It is a broad cross-section of employers all looking for employees. To assist individuals seeking employment, the Department of Labor hosted a job preparation seminar today. The session was designed to get job seekers prepared for interviews with proper attire and documentation. And finally, fists will fly on Friday night at the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium when First Class Promotions and the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture host the first ever all-female professional boxing show here in the Bahamas. The fighters arrived in town on Wednesday night and the official weigh-ins were held this morning, Thursday morning, at Super Club's Breezes. Fighting in the 10-round main event for the WBA title seen here facing off will be Canadian Lindsay Garbat. She's 9-9-2 nine, nine versus American Jamie Mitchell, who's 8-1-2 their professional records. Mitchell and Garbat talked about being a part of the historic all-female fight card here in the Bahamas. Amazing. Like, first of all, like, shout out to, to the Bahamas and to you. Like, I've traveled a couple places in my career and this is like the first place I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? So it's really, really nice to be here and perform it. I think you're going to uh, get a really exciting fight. Uh, me and Jamie both, you know, we, we like to scrap, we like to fight. Um, I think it's going to be a good, good 
it's got. The eight-round co-main event will feature veteran Simone Silva from Brazil. She's 17, 22, and 0, taking on newcomer and former Olympian O'Shea Jones from the United States, who's undefeated. You can see the two ladies here at the uh, in the co-main event showing off their muscles during the weigh-ins earlier today. The doors at the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium, they will open at 8 p.m. on Friday. General admission, just $35. VIP, $125. The event sanctioned by the Bahamas Boxing Commission is in honor of Bahamian boxing legend Ray Miner. Jr., who is now battling the disease ALS. And that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thanks so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.